All right, thank you. About, you know, tomorrow marks one month since that EF3 tornado tore through our area, uh, Harrison Township, Gloucester County. So we sent up the chopper yesterday. It was a beautiful day, but, but look at all this damage. There's so many houses. Well, I think I, at last count, uh, there were 36 houses that are, were just gone. They can't be rebuilt. And something like 140, 150 that actually do have damage, but they might be able to repair them. So we spoke to Harrison Township's mayor, uh, Lou Manzo, the day after the tornado, and we asked him to come back again today, now almost a month later. Mr. Mayor, thank you for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, I see one of the houses that we looked at uh, about 30 days ago. Uh, well, has this been the busiest month of your life? <laughs> That's a bit of an understatement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty intense. Absolutely. How are people doing? I mean, we can rebuild houses and stuff like that, but I would think that the people, some of them are still traumatized. Yeah, I mean, it's a cliche to say we're doing as well as can be expected, mm -hmm. but that's the truth. And the, the trauma that you're referring to is now really what is probably more prevalent. I mean, you're, you're working so hard in the aftermath of this and just trying to get through with the debris cleanup and all of the logistics of where do you go? How do you house yourselves, especially those 36 that you refer yeah. to that were completely displaced? But then you're dealing with the emotional impact of it, and that's that's really um, that's really intense. Yeah, also. after every kind of th everything settles down, sometimes you know you just burst into tears and say, "Oh well, my God, I live!" But now look at my life. Do, where uh, I know you can't talk about all the the residents of the 36 houses that will that have to be torn down and rebuilt. Where's everybody living? Well. Initially, overnight, believe it or not, I think only a couple of people countywide ended up in the Red Cross Center overnight because mm. that, that initial evening. And uh, people were taken in by family, friends, and in the month since, uh, through insurance companies, they find housing, whether it's renting a, a place uh, that might be local, uh, hotel rooms, some with family and friends, because for the 36 especially, this is going to be a long haul. I mean, they're looking at a year plus. This isn't something that's going to be over oh, God, in yes. 30 or 60 days. Yeah. So like I said, we sent Sky Fox over the area yesterday. And again, I, I mm -hmm. lost count of the number of blue tarps that I saw. How many houses right. do you think were hit? Well, I think the estimate was that damage to more than 140 properties mm. uh, and some of it pretty intense, some of it, you know, uh, very devastating and obviously it was the 36 that were completely demolished or are so structurally unsound that they have to be taken down. Yeah. So did what's the insurance issue? Did people have like tornado insurance? Well, believe it or not, what we're coming to find out from talking to everyone is that the word tornado often doesn't exist uh, in, in insurance policies more mm. often than not. So. Uh, it's also not an exclusion. So that's the saving grace here. So okay. uh, you know, everybody's being taken care of in reference to their insurance policies, you know, the structures themselves. When you get into the tree damage and the agricultural impact, that's a different story. But, but people do need money, don't they? Absolutely. I um, mean, clearly, when you file with your insurance companies, and you know, the sad part of that is that several of them I've spoken to have still, now a month later, not had a complete evaluation done so oh, that you know God. it takes time so but in the interim they they clearly also need some help to uh just continue to pick up the pieces and, yeah. and have some continuity well our viewers are very generous when people are in trouble like this when is your fundraiser well you know that process really started almost from minute one and we saw those individual gofundme accounts and yeah. just an, an incredible outpouring of support within the community and the region and beyond i mean armies of volunteers showing up uh to help with the logistics but then just pure monetary input through gift cards and uh, like i said contributions and really that we started to channel all of that through our local uh rotary uh, rotary uh of mullica hill and Several business owners now have stepped up oh to want to have uh, an individual day, uh, a fundraiser, as you're referring to, right. that's going to occur on uh, October the 17th. And that's the big, you know, the focus at this point. 
Okay. Did we put you in a dangerous area? Are you safe out there on the streets? <laughs> that was a, Mr. Mayor. No, that was, was a school that? bus. <laughs> that was a school bus. Couldn't be safer than a school bus. Okay. Yeah. The school buses are still running. Uh, okay. So still it's running, the 17th. Yep. Is it what is it? Naples Warehouse? Is that the name of the place? Yeah, the location is, uh, you know, Naples at the warehouse, which okay. is right in the center of our main street. It's going to be in the parking lot. Like I said, there's several business owners sponsoring this event. Uh, people can purchase their tickets on an Eventbrite site. Um, together we rebuild. If you just go on Eventbrite, okay. together we yeah. rebuild. And um, you have the ability to purchase tickets. And 100% of those ticket purchases and any of the donations will go directly to those 36 impacted families. Okay. So, But like you said, if you can't make that, there, there are GoFundMe sites. How, how do I get to that? Yeah, Rotary, and again, people are sometimes skeptical over GoFundMe sites, I and, and I agree you should be. But the one that we've been directing everyone to is through our Mulligan Hole Rotary. So on the GoFundMe site, uh, if you just put in the search uh, Mullica Hill Tornado Rotary, yeah. and that's the one that we're sure and we're 100%, you know, uh, it's 100% credible that all, all of that money will be disseminated to those most impacted. Uh, by the way, two things and I gotta go. Uh, where are you right now? Mm -hmm. What street are you on? Well, right now we're in one of those impacted uh, neighborhoods on Salvatore Drive, oh, if, yes. you know, uh, to, to the south, which I know uh, we're panning to now. That's the tornado came straight through this mm -hmm. area. You see all the blue tarps, took down one house that's completely gone. The house is behind me, obviously, you know, devastated. And when it continued north uh, through the town and completely decimated forests, and you can see nothing but twigs uh, off to my uh, left and that was a completely forested area and that happened for a 12 mile wow. stretch going through remember other towns Mantua, Winona, yeah. uh, Woodbury Heights and Deptford you know so equal devastation in all the towns. Incredible. It's still stunning to see that footage that the uh, storm chaser shot the the width of yep. the tornado was. Uh, uh, is your house damaged? No, I was one of the lucky ones. I was about a mile and a half north of this, so to mm. me it was just a rainstorm and a dark sky that passed pretty quickly, but obviously uh, there before the grace of God go I, and that's what I think everybody thinks, and that's why there's been such a tremendous outpouring of support that everyone realizes that could have been me, and clearly yeah. the fact that no one died or got seriously hurt is one of the true miracles yeah, of this. Yeah, I'm still shocked by that myself. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thank you.